And it's Davis's third home run tonight. They're going wild at the Coliseum. 20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field and deep left center field. And Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the base of the wall. And Griffey to second base in his first major league at bat. A ringing double off the 375 marker. And we have seen that all spring. Welcome to the show, Ken Griffey Jr. Here's the 0-1. Story hits it high and deep right field. Way back, and it's gone! Three-run bomb, welcome to the big leagues, Trevor Story. How do you like that? I've got goosebumps. Me too. Not gonna lie. Me too. Mom and dad are jumping for joy here at Chase Field. Wow! Now from City Field in Flushing, Queens, welcome to Major York League Baseball on MLB Network. Tonight, the second of four between the Washington Nationals and the New York Mets. Major League Baseball on MLB Network is next. Steven Matz will be on the bump for game two of the series. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, he's been really good. He's got two wins in the last three starts. His team's had an opportunity to be in the game deep and late, and he's walked away, like I said, with two wins. So let's see if he's able to get three wins and four starts after this out. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. One and one, here it comes. Now a sharply hit ball back up the middle. But there to flag it down is the shortstop Reyes, and that's out number one. And here's how the Nats line up in this one. What's this lineup have to do tonight in order to get a W here on the road, HR? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know I don't use many cliches. I would have to say, have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. Into the box now, Michael Taylor. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. He's gone two for six. Seared down the first baseline. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Batting third, second baseman. Here's Daniel Murphy Daniel now. First Murphy. chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. And now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. Steven Strasburg is on the mound for game two. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, he's had good success against left-handed hitters, hitting under 250 against him. When you're having that kind of success against the left-handers, you're going to be in a lot of games. So striding forward now, Jose Reyes. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Now Reyes awaits the 1-1. One, one. A changeup over the inside corner. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Taylor has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Matt, I can't wait to see if La Potencia, Yoenis Cespedes, can keep it going. He was the catalyst for this ball club last month. He had an on-base percentage of over 400. And when you're doing that, you're really helping your team. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. His past numbers with Steven Strasburg, seven hits in 28 tries. And on 10 occasions, he's been a strikeout victim. 
That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Now time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. You know, Matt, we won't see a whole lot of arguing with Jerry. If Jerry misses a pitch, he'll tell you, I missed it. What? And if you turn around and you ask him, Jerry, how far off the plate was that? I say, Hall of Fame pitch, HR, Hall of Fame. So, Jerry, you got my respect, man. I love it. And the players love him, and so do the pitchers. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Line towards center field. Taylor is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. He got that Carter. one pretty good. Left it fielder. just didn't have the right You're launch right. angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Swing and a line drive, but this is going to get foul. Another payoff pitch. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. So the first two batters of the inning go out, and then the three-hitter gets a base hit that here, bringing up the middle of the order. Center this guy's got power. It could be 2 nothing before the point. Into the box, Curtis Granderson. Pitch misses low. The throw. Yes. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Mets go down quickly. Still no score. Now at the plate, Bryce Harper. And he'll be looking to snap out of it in this one. Not having much success at the plate over the last week and a half. And here's a sinker that had a little bit too much dart to it there as it just about came in and nailed him. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight, they come in trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, five and two over their last seven. Well, Matt, they're two and two on the homestand, so obviously you don't want to go two and three if you lose this game here. Three and two, though. The win today gets you shooting towards maybe a nice little winning streak. That's why this game's important to me. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Now a ball rolled softly to second. On to first here as wind is set down now two away. Here's Jason Ward. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. A 1 1 on its way to work. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. Another 1 2 delivery. Another one sent foul. Again, a 1-2. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Right there is Reyes. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Curtis Granderson will start things off when we return. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. In is Curtis Granderson. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. Let's go. 
And Granderson trying to work his way aboard. He's got it to three and one now. Harold, these Nationals as they enter play here tonight. They've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Well, Matt, we're watching a team that won the last game, put them at 500. Now, they're not where they want to be, and there's still several games back in the division, but you just keep pushing one day at a time, and you never know if you might be able to gain some ground. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Harper. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo home run for Curtis Granderson. Home run number 16 for him on the year, and the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. beat the shift you hit it over the shift of course you can't play guys up in the sky so he lifts this one up and out of here into the box now Neil Walker and a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit He's set and the 2 1 pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Come on, man. Now here it comes. Line to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. The throw into second. But he'll be in there with a double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Right Smashed fielder. it down the line, and that was some great hustle Ooh. to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Here's Jay Bruce now. He's currently tied for second place on the team in home runs. Working for the punch out and the offering. Checked his swing there and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. So it's ball four. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. His past numbers with Steven Strasburg four for ten. He also has one home run. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Liner towards second. But well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Nationals. And in the outfield, Bryce Harper. You know, when he first broke in the league when he was 19, 20 years old, he was running around like a crazy man all over the place, like a little jackrabbit. Out of control. He's calmed it down now. And he's really become a nice outfielder. Here it is on 3 0. Oh. Takes a knee high fastball. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove him one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. He's set. Here's the three one. And he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes, and history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. He said, here comes the 1-1. One, one. Now a bunt attempt here. And they will put the tag on him, but meanwhile the run is in to score. Sometimes for a first baseman, the best thing you do is just go ahead and tag the guy like that. Hey, there's a lot more that can go wrong when you try to throw to the pitcher or the second baseman covering. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Oh, 
Looking to minimize the damage here. And that's in there. Base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. And a relay home. A tag. And they get him at the plate as one run scores, but not the second. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. We played two full. The Mets are out on top, three to nothing. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. On the ground to the left side. Wright has it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. Now batting, Derek Norris. Batting average is a likely source of pride for him, currently sitting in the high 320s. The one and two pitch. Out of play. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there, just out of the strike zone. But listen, when you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase a lot of those so called pitchers' pitches. This guy knows the strike zone. And there's the first hit of the game for the Nats. Now that's a nice base hit right there. Don't overlook Batting this guy just because he's down at the bottom the of the order. He's a pretty good hitter. Steven Strasburg. Standing in now, Steven Strasburg. Now a bunt attempt here. Reyes. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. It's the Mets three, and the Nationals nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, David Wright. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Well, he's really laboring in the early going well, here. That's his 52. third walk of the game Yo, already. Is, we'll see if he can get it together or if this is just one of those days where he's going to have to grind his way through this start. Digging in to try it again. Joanna Cespedes. He singled his last time up. Strasburg on one and one. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time. One and two. Oh, he hung him one right there. Curveball right down the middle. Those balls go a long way. He must have been looking for something else. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. And again a throw, and he'll dive back in safely. And again a throw. And he just manages to get his hand in. One and two. Here it comes. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Ball's there and he is out. Good throw. A lot of times if a guy is going it's going to be on the first couple of pitches but he waited it out that time didn't matter though a good catch and throw and they nabbed him at second. He's set here's the 2 2 rip down the first baseline and a backhanded reach at first but he can't flag it down. Well, we always expect him, if he's got two hits in the hit column, something's going to be over the board. But hey, he'll take Center two singles. Not complaining. Curtis, 
stepping in now. Curtis Granderson. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt, but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Ready with the 3 1. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The 3 2 one more time. And another foul ball. Strasburg with a check at first. And they got him. Decisions like that have to be made knowing who you've got at the plate. This guy can put one over the fence no problem. So that wasn't very smart baseball. Here's a swing and a high pop up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. Zimmerman is going to put this one away on the dirt in front of the dugout, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans. They lead it three to nothing. Matt Vaskersian back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak in starting out the inning. It'll be the exciting speedster Trey Turner. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch to short. Reyes gloves it. Go to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Ready for another chance? Michael Taylor comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. He's looked great on the bump the first few innings of this game. And I think his ability to change speeds effectively has been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strike out there. And I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off with their timing so far. Right there at the belt, one and two now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Lifted the other way out to left center. Granderson's after it. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Fair to say. Oh my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on MLB Network after this. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Neil Walker. He'll start things out against Steven Strasburg as we get the inning underway. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. There's a change up over the outside corner. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. Worth is under it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And both guys throwing the country hardball so far. Top speeds of 95 and 97. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Line toward the gap in left center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. 
And he'll get in there safely. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. Into the box, Travis Darno. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Full count, here it comes. And that's through into left, a base hit. Throw comes into third now, so they're at the corners here with only one out. Well, that's a line drive single, but the runner's not going to score. Now, remember, with less than two outs, he had to freeze. Hit it a little bit too hard at the wrong guy. He'll take the hit, but no RBI. In now, T.J. Rivera takes a good curveball at the knees. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. The one and two pitch. Oh, and he's going to get rung up on a curveball, and that looked like a questionable strike at best, two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Into the box now, Stephen Matz. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. More in a moment on this Friday night. You're watching MLB Network. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. Swinging a ball line softly down the left field line, but foul. Hard ground ball to third. Great effort on the dive, but it's through into left. Boy, he's down the count. He knew he wasn't going to get much to hit. Did a nice job well, staying with that ball, just First shooting it through the hole the Adam other way. Lynn. Standing in now, Adam Lind. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Ready with the one and two. Curveball that time, not even close. Two and two count, here it comes. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. He's set, here's the two two. And here's a ball hit in the air. In there, a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. First two hitters of the inning go back-to-back -back -back singles, and now they're first and third. This Jason has the makings Morton. of a big inning. Stepping in now, Jason Ward. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two and that's by him into right field for a base hit and they're on the board as this is now a three one ball game. Oh they're playing small ball this inning Matt back to back to back singles. 11, Ryan Zimmerman. Into the box Ryan Zimmerman. Slap hard the opposite way, but this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. Now batting, 
Kaka. Striding into the box. Derek Norris. He reached on a single in his first try. One run, four hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Just a tick behind for a strike. Swing, strike two. Uh oh, he got the big fella out front on that one. This guy's got a lot of power, so he pulled the string on him knowing if he got a 3-1 fastball, we're probably going to watch him jog around the bases. And he misses with that one, ball four, and that's going to load the, the bases now with seven. still only one away. Steven Strasburg. Striding in once again, Steven Strasburg, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And this scoots under his glove. Oh, what a time for that. One run scores. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Well, you think you've got a good matchup. You've managed the inning pretty good. you got the pitcher at the plate. And the next thing you know, you give up a two RBI hit to the pitcher. Man, that is frustrating. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. Three across so far in the inning and another two out there on base. Yeah Matt and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. From the belt kicks and deals. Now this is on the ground at first. We'll see if they can get two. And the throw will go to second as they get to force out. Relay throw but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. Center fielder number three, Michael Stepping in, Taylor. Michael Taylor. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. And there's ball two now. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Three runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Line drive to left. But this is going to hang up there just long enough to be taken in on the run in shallow left, and that ends the inning. So they pick up three runs on four hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Last half of the fifth coming up, and we are all tied at three apiece. Ready for another shot now, Jose Reyes. One for two on his line so far in the game. Swing and a line drive, but foul. Another full count pitch home. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. The third baseman, number five, David. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And this is fouled at the plate. The 2 2 now to right on the ground to third. Throw to first is in time to take care of right, and that's the second out. The left fielder number 52. Digging Yoenis in and looking for more. Yoenis Cespedes. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Strasburg comes set. Full count pitch on its way. Takes this the other way to right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. Five innings complete, all tied 3-3. Three, three. Ready for another shot now. Daniel Murphy. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. The 1 1 on its way to Murphy. Oh, looked like he was towing an anchor there. 1 and 2. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Here's a ball hit foul down the third baseline, so they'll try it again.
swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one. Another strikeout for him on the mound and boy is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt Matty he's one of my favorites mostly because of his stuff. You know he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Into the box now Bryce Harper. And here's a slider that runs inside that time and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Wanted to go after the slider but he holds off three and one. Well it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. He's ready now the payoff pitch. Again he sends it out of play. Hit sharply on the ground. Walker has it. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now batting. First baseman. Here's Adam, Adam Lind. Lind. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. Cespedes is there makes the catch and the side is retired pretty painless half of the inning all told to the bottom of the sixth we go four five and six coming up and we are all tied at three apiece. It is Curtis Granderson he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier and some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both the left hander and a right hander throwing. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Granderson waits on the 1 2. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Set to deal on 2 and 2. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Now batting. Second. Here's Neil play. Walker. He Neil doubled earlier in the Walker. game, one for two to this point. He's set, and the three and one pitch. Curveball, but a good job to lay off, and he works out the free pass. The hitter was dug in looking for something to hit but he would have needed a telephone pole to hit that thing way out of the zone. Now the national skipper is up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and that's going to do it now for Steven Strasburg. Vance Worley is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Jay Bruce will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. From the stretch. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Now a move over to first, and he'll get back in safely. And another throw over, and the runner back. 3 3 our score with a man on at first and one away. Runners going. Softly hit to the left side. In time to first, and there are two away. Up next for the left. Digging That's in good. and looking for more. Travis Darneau. A hit in two tries so far. One and one, here it is. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Now for Walker, he picks up his fifth stolen base on the campaign. Hoping to keep it tied, here it comes. Grounder down the line at third.
foul back. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone. See if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time. See if he chases it again. Here's another one two. On the ground up the middle. Turner fields it cleanly. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Mets leave one. Six innings are in the books. Score holds it three to three. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Tight one on our hands. All tied at three apiece as we look at the game summary through six innings of play. Digging in once again, Jason Worth. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Hit hard to the right side. And that is through into right field for a single. So the leadoff hitter in the inning reaches safely for the Nationals. The third baseman, number 11. Here's Ryan, Ryan Zimmerman, Zimmerman now. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Thought it was ball four, but it's in there. Three and two. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. He's set and the payoff pitch. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? On to first, and you can forget about the go-ahead run being on base. He's erased on the double play. Well, it was a promising start with the leadoff man on in a tie ball game, but there's nothing like a double play ball to change the course of an inning. In now, Derek Norris. Swing and a little tapper. That winds up foul. Well, Matt, if I use the cliche, it's not how you start, how you finish, it would apply right now. A couple innings ago, he had a rough inning. It didn't look good. But now he's starting to settle in a little bit better. He may be able to get through this thing. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Here's a little chopper up the middle. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. One hits all they get. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark, and we are all tied at three apiece. Ready for another chance? T.J. Rivera comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. But one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. Lucas Duda will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throw on to first, two gone. A shortstop, number seven, Jose Riding in once again, Jose Reyes. He's working on a one for three thus far. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Line drive to center field. And trouble aboard now is that's a base hit for Reyes. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. Head to head history with Vance Worley. Comes in with six hits in 21 at bats. He's taken him deep once. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Right. 
And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Don't know for sure, but I think he may have been taking there thinking his teammate on first was going to be on the move. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Grounded to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Met strand one, still tied three to three. Hansel Robles has been summoned from now the bullpen the as he'll do so to start Number the eighth. 47, Hansel Robles. Adam Eaton is going to be asked to get things Number going six. here as a lead off Adam the top of the eighth. Eaton. Looks like a left hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0 and 2. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Rabal. And he takes very close to the inside corner here, 2 and 2, though. Here's the pitch on two and two. A little bouncer. And the leadoff man in the inning will get the job done here. It's an infield single. Oh, but look here. The manager's up and out of the dugout, so it appears he might opt to challenge that last safe call at first. Yeah, Matt, definitely a close play right there. And we're going to take another look at it right here. Boy, that's just so tough to tell for sure from that angle. So we'll see what the decision is from the dugout, whether they want to challenge or not. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive Ladies answer on this play. The Mets have decided to challenge. All right, so here's play. one final look at it. Now remember, there has to be indisputable video evidence in order to overturn the call. He was called safe and probably could go either way, but I don't think there's enough right here to change the call. And we'll get our answer here as it appears the umpires have made their decision and the headset comes off. And the Upon runner is safe review, at first as originally called, so they will lose the ability to challenge for the remainder of the game. Stepping in now, Trey Turner. On oh, that fastball is too much for him there, one and two. Oh, he reached back and challenged him right there. I, I like that. Early in the count. There it is, big fella. I know you're a good hitter, but I'm coming right after you. There's one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. It's really tough to double up a guy with the speed that he has, and he was hustling all the way on this ground ball. So they should be happy they at least got the guy out at second. It'll be interesting now to see if he tries to use that speed again and swipe a bag and get into scoring position. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Runner goes for second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. Oh, that was a pretty good pitch right there. A little bit late. That's why he wasn't able to catch it right there in his wheelhouse. Line to the right side. And he has just given them the lead late as this is down for extra bases. And the run is in to score from second. And he'll get there without a play. It's a stand-up triple. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the second lead in the ball point. game, you feel good about Daniel yourself. Murphy. And his teammates are pumped up as well. Here's Daniel Murphy now. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. And that'll be the fourth wide one, so put runners at the corners here with one man gone. Digging in to try it again, Bryce Harper. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now pitching for the New York Mets. Number so they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. 
Hit out towards second. Walker's got it. Reyes on to first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Your Oliver Perez is on to pitch out of the bullpen Washington. in the bottom half of Number the eighth. 46. Oliver Perez. Ready once again, Yoenis Cespedes. Lifetime versus this pitcher. Hitless in three at bats. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. A little bit outside. 2-1. and one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. He's set. Here's the two two. Lined in the left center. And there's a base hit. So there you go. The possible time run aboard here to kick off the home half of the eighth. That's a big leadoff hit late in the game right there. Now you're down okay. one. You get the leadoff guy on. And he can do a lot of things. Will he still? Will they bunt him over? Will he Boy, score on a gaffer? Shot. Maybe score on a home run. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how they get him home. Standing in now, Curtis Granderson takes a fastball on the inside corner. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Misses ball two. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Bouncer down the line. That's a foul ball. 4-3 our score here as we play the eighth. And the sinking fastball called strike three and that's out number one. Tight game here. 4-3 our Next score as we take the opportunity to compare the performances turned in by the two starters. Here's Neil Walker. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Step on the bag for one. On to Lind. It's a double play and the inning is over. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. We've played eight full. Washington leads this one four to three. Here's Adam Lind. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready with the payoff pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. He'll try it again, three and two. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Hey, anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Into the box now, Jason Worth. Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. He's set. Here's the three and two. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of that ball. And gone up into the second deck. A solo home run for Jason Worth. Number 10 for him on the year. And it's now 5 to 3. Bullpen is going to have to take care of business in the bottom half of this inning. But they're going to be able to throw a lot freer if they've got that extra run to play with. 
Insurance runs are always huge. Into the box, Ryan Zimmerman. 1-1 one, one pitch is lifted in the air out to right. On the move is Bruce. He's there, but oh, he missed it. And this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker. And he'll reach second now with one away. It looked like he had a great Don't jump matter. on the ball. It's going to bring Patrick. it in no problem. But Derek something North. happened as he approached the foul line, and it went right by him. It wasn't a routine play, but he'll tell you he should have had it. Stepping in now, Derek Norris. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Anthony Rendon will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Anthony Rendon. Two out here and a runner at second. Line towards center field. Granderson is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One for the Nationals, and it comes on this home run by Jason Worth. Last chance coming up here for the Metropolitans. 5 3 Washington. Your Sean Kelly plate. enters the game to now finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 27, Sean Kelly. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Jay Bruce, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. Swing hard liner to left center. And that's going to be a base hit for Bruce. That line drive base hit, now it brings the tying run to the plate. You know Matt they was talking now about bloop and a blast. Catcher. Maybe it is a rope Average. and some hope. We'll oh, see how the no. ninth inning plays out. So striding in, Travis Darno. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. That's a ball he worked on all day. I was out here early. He stayed with it and just shot it the other way. Beautiful execution of a game plan. Will be summoned now to be the pinch base. runner. Number 12. One. One. And that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. And this is scooped away and stays foul. So now the question becomes what to do with two strikes. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two. Spin and a throw back to second and the runner back easily. from the stretch and he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone really important time for a strikeout there guys tying one at first so objective number one is straining him on base and now with one out it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run Michael Conforto will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line first and second now one man out Now a look and a throw back to second, but the runners back easily. Oh. 
Now both runners on the move. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Worth is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Blake Trinan takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Now pitching for Washington, number 45. Jose Reyes will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Taken called strike two and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Up high in the air. Murphy is there for it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Wow, you don't see a closer finish better than that very often. Only needed four pitches to slam the door in their face and salt this game away for his guys. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3 the final. The Washington Nationals wrap up their 20th road win of the season. Vance Worley claims the win out of the pen his first. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. The final line score for the ball game tonight for the victorious Washington Nationals. Five runs on nine hits. Drake delivers as a drive to right field. Hit deep. Back by the bullpen gate. It goes and it is gone. Stubbs the right fielder jumped and couldn't get it just to the right of the 380 foot marker. David Ortiz ties Mickey Mantle with his 536 home run. 10 2 Red Sox. The 2 0. Each row to right.